Hello everyone, checking back in on the cryptocurrency space and yesterday after I did that video, good lord was that some awesome trading opportunity. Longs that loaded up, certainly very happy. Traders bouncing in and out, certainly very happy. As long as we were out before the dump, we had cash and we're ready to buy these dips and these oversold dips and these big bounces. So when I did the video, it was before this last leg to the downside occurred yesterday and we were looking for further pullback and we were looking for a bounce to occur on the hourly time frame. And what this dump did was pretty much just accelerate in terms of time frame everything that I said. So where I was looking for an hourly bounce to play out and I said it didn't look like we could get oversold on the hourly, that really all changed very quickly and we sped things up significantly. One thing I want to point out is after this dump, we very often see an equilibrium pattern. And if you've been watching these videos, I've been pointing them out time and time again, and I'm about to point out a bunch more on the shorter term time frames. I just made multiple ETH trades based off of an equilibrium pattern. But the all out dump and the fact that we saw this kind of recovery back towards the all time high on Bitcoin, this does show tons of strength. Under normal conditions, with the bulls not as strong, I would expect the dump, the low, the high of the bounce, a higher low, lower high tightening range to play out long term, to play out, well, long term on the hourly time frame, meaning a day or two. And that's not happening. We had our high, our low, lower high, higher low, bull break right away, and then higher lows and higher highs. I made my first Bitcoin day trade yesterday. And let's see where I was looking at. It was on the bounce right here, this, this low, and I got it anticipating an equilibrium pattern forming. And I scalped a bit there and exited on the way up here. And then, of course, we kept going overnight. At this point, I'm not liking holding positions overnight while I'm sleeping just because I have all of my... I'm using all of my cash per trade that I do. So when I'm flipping, I'm, I'm going all in every flip. That's why I want to be right at my computer and monitoring it because if something goes wrong, you know, you lose 5%. That's a very significant amount. So made a Bitcoin flip. The bulls are in full control. We're testing the all-time high. This is the 15-minute chart. That all-time high is up there at 22.98. And the bulls need to see a break of that level. Otherwise, we set a lower high and then we pull back from here. So it's a pretty critical point here for Bitcoin just in terms of the short term. Obviously, longer term, the bulls are just fine on this recovery. But I've got support here. And let's draw some lines where we've got support on the low consolidation. So we're looking at the first support of 22.55. And I'm going to round here. And then the next support is down at 2218. If we lose 2255 without breaking the all time high, we are going to look to pull back. And I would say a major consolidation level is down here at 2162. If we don't set an all time high and we break 2162, that's a bit of a red flag for the bulls in the short term. That would show that our lower high is set. And again, looking at the daily time frame, we are not confirming the bearish reversal candlesticks. But we don't want to form a double top at these levels. We have plenty of wiggle room. We look at the hourly time frame. We could reject from here and pull all the way back. There's that level. You can see that we built this base of consolidation down here. And then we've seen five hours of upside. So not a ton of support built on the way up. This is my must hold level, I would say. If we do not break an all-time high and we begin to consolidate, the bulls must hold this consolidation base down in the 2161 range. That's the important level for the rest of the week. Ethereum has been a beautiful trader, and this yesterday was just absolutely astounding, the moves that we were seeing in five minutes. There was a gift back here, and I was entering here in the low 140s, and we even saw 137.76. That stands out in my mind because there was a 1,000 on the ask at 137.76. In the chat room, I was typing to buy. It would be an easy $5 gain, and obviously way more than five dollars we saw a 45 dollar move to the upside really from low to high so very easy to capture gains on the way to the upside and we were just so oversold one thing that i look for is volume climaxes to signal the top of an uptrend or the bottom of a downtrend and we had a volume climax here at the low the bulls bounced we saw higher lows and higher highs on the big time recovery and i just traded a pattern here let's point out the eth pattern that i just traded and again it's an equilibrium pattern that we keep seeing all over the place because that is how humans and psychology and trading works so here was the pattern that we were watching we got a nice bull break so we have the low of the dump the high of the bounce higher low lower high higher low lower high higher low and you can just see the volume look at the volume just continually drop off drop off drop off and the bull break occurred right here. I was more, a little bit more confident in a bull break than a bear break because of watching Bitcoin. I know that ETH and Bitcoin have been correlated pretty well together. LTC is more inverse to these two. It's not directly inverse. It's not a tick for tick kind of relationship that they have. 
but generally overall it's bitcoin and ethereum on one side and litecoin on the other so i saw that bitcoin had already make made bullish breaks on its shorter term time frames so i was looking for eth to see upside i got in here in the 166 range and then once we broke 167, the lower high pattern broke and the bull showed up with a spike in volume. And I exited at 172, reloaded just now on this dip down at 169.50. Uh, Should have sold again right up at 173, but I'm going to hold out here and see if we can see continuation up to the next resistance of 172.76, which we did break. So we are looking up at the, the high of the bounce at this point of 177.90. So I will likely either exit with a small loss if we do pull back here and break 168 support, or I'm going to hold out and see if we can head up to the upper 170s from here. Because right now what's going on is normal healthy consolidation in the last 20 minutes, where we can see liquids forming an equilibrium pattern. Our high, low, lower high. Now we look to form a higher low. This pattern is absolutely everywhere, and you can certainly utilize it for trading. And I utilized it on ETH. I had a couple more trades yesterday where I was anticipating the higher lows and lower highs to form. So I knew that my time frame for entering and exiting the trades would get shorter and shorter. So I'd be quicker to flip them. But I woke up this morning and made a bullish entry on this move right here because I knew I had a clear support here of 155.70. I saw that the bulls had formed a higher low at 157.70 and I made a bullish entry on this move to the upside and I exited for a couple dollars, a few dollars to the upside and that's just how i started my day and then i went about my morning chores feeding the chickens and all that so just in and out really quick so i don't have to sit at the computer with all of my position in these trades so we'll see how this five minute equilibrium pattern breaks out bulls certainly have favor and momentum and solid volume litecoin nice move overnight and personally i was not liking the volume and volatility of litecoin it was pretty thinly traded and whenever i'm in a position and for me to exit a position, it would require, like if I wanted to get out now and to sell at the bid, it would really knock the price down almost you know, 2%. And I don't like that at all. I want much more liquidity and ETH and Bitcoin have that liquidity. LTC does not as much. But I was in at 25 looking for a bull move overnight and I had to exit because I wanted to get some sleep, which I have been lacking recently. But obviously the bull showed up in a big way and saw some nice follow through to the upside. So let's see where I was looking at right here this is where i entered i entered it at 25 and then i saw no forward upside and i exited break even here and then obviously overnight bulls did their thing and the daily chart is doing exactly what we anticipated if you go back two days ago we highlighted the higher low likely to form i anticipated a higher low and i anticipated that because i anticipated eth and btc to sell the news so i assumed that if we see those two sell the news that we're going to see some cash come into ltc which we did see we saw a bullish reversal hammer on the daily here's our confirmation of that bullish reversal hammer so we have resistance right now at 2941 we did break it but not convincingly 2966 but the bulls have momentum here and they're trying to change the trend on the daily so since the segwit sell-off we've seen lower highs and lower lows now we have a higher low and we're trying for this higher high if the bulls can get over 3060 we're looking back towards that all-time high and we'll have to keep an eye on volume because certainly a lot of traders are in eth and bitcoin because of their volatility and strength but when we see profit taking in those two names we do see a little bit of money coming here to ltc ltc on the 15 minute time frame guess what we're forming equilibrium pattern and we just made a, a short term break let's see if the bulls can follow through but we had our high on the overnight bull move low of consolidation lower high higher low and we just broke to a higher high didn't see much follow through we are seeing profit taking on that candlestick 28.95 was the level to broke we got up to 29.10 so the bulls have a little bit of momentum here on LTC and we'll see if we can head back to the high of 2966 on this move and then we'll look at $30 psychological resistance from there. So the bulls long story short after yesterday big time recovery and I was anticipating multiple days of consolidation that was before the extreme flush to the downside and obviously the bulls bought that extreme flush significantly if we had seen just a slow and steady drip of lower highs and lower lows it would have been a much more prolonged consolidation but because of that dump it really accelerated the timeline for everything and the bulls have made an extremely impressive recovery when the hourly time frame on eth formed this bullish almost a bullish engulfing very close to it look at the volume that's the volume climax signaling the bottom and the bottom for now who knows you know in in two months whether that will be the bottom but what we know is the bulls are in full control of bitcoin and eth at this point and a full-on recovery from all of that profit-taking. 
And the question now is going to be, can we see new all-time highs sometime in the next day or two? And if we cannot, then the consolidation will be a bit more prolonged. Don't think we'll consolidate very significantly. Certainly don't expect to see this kind of dump anytime soon. But it's all about whether or not the bulls can continue to higher highs. Otherwise, we're just going to set a lower high compared to the all-time high. So thanks again for checking in. I guess I'm the one checking in, but thanks again for tuning in. And we'll continue to put these videos out. And congrats to the bulls that bought that dip. If you were ready, I know a lot of people were sleeping, but that was just an absolute gift and easy money. You do not need to be a trader to make money on a move like that. So thanks again. See you soon.